Hello, continuing our conversations with Chuck video series. We're looking at the over the top move and how to fix it with biofeedback. As you can see, I've got the five sensor my swing system on. We're looking specifically in this video at the role of the lead arm and how it affects sequencing and, and how we can fix it with biofeedback. Right, so a lot of people, their arms work off their body too early. And when they do that, what you'll see is you'll see a gap as they're coming down uh, into the impact area. You'll see a gap between their body and their arms. Uh, conversely, you'll see a lot of juniors and a lot of females that have this way too long in the downswing. So a little bit of this stretch across your chest uh, is a good source of energy and power, sure. right? Yep. So, but if it's too long, you can also take those same Absolutely. two things and rob them. Absolutely. So right now we have the biofeedback set up for a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 25 degrees. So I'm gonna give Chase a club and have him go to the top. And now as he starts down, you're gonna hear the feedback. Okay, so we'll go ahead and rest. And one again. Okay, now rest. So what you wanna do with your players, you wanna have them do this 25, 30 times to get the feel of that load against there. Now, what did you feel like was, was loading that left arm across the chest? I felt like I was rotating my rib cage. Okay. So I felt like I was getting to the top, and then my hands, the club, were just basically staying there while I was trying to feel okay. this, this motion. All right, so here's, go ahead and go up there again. Here's a drill that I might use with a player as well, is I might hold the butt of the club and tell them now just try to move your right shoulder. Sure, yep. Okay, so now that also presses that pretty firmly against the chest. And, and obviously if, if you put the biofeedback on and I take it to the top and I immediately go that way, we're never gonna hear a tone. We're right. never gonna see the, the right. color change. Right, right. And, and typically when you're loading this, again, you don't wanna hold it too long. Sure. So you, you normally is, is about when the left arm gets parallel, mm -hmm. then you gotta let that baby blast off. And, and the question comes up, how much should we stretch? You know, how much should it load? All those answers are, are already supplied for you in the MySwing Pro system. So you don't, you don't have to know those right off the top of your head. We have right. them all in our report. Right. Awesome. Great stuff, Chuck. Again, biofeedback, MySwing Pro.